Ah, I'm Richard Cookie, and this is the questions you got to answer to win the bush chair, snap along, or whatever you want to call this thing. Comes in green or black, comes with a snap. Remember, you can use this as a chair. You can open it up and put it in your tent to lay upon. Remember, you need to take from here to your buttocks warmness. See how it, that's where it needs to be when you're sleeping in the cold winter nights. It's foam padded. It's good for hemorrhoids if you have hemorrhoids or, you know, sitting on cold stuff brings them out. You know what I mean? I don't have them, but I know what people go through. They tell me, oh, my hemorrhoid, mama. Let this call out mama, she'll help you. Now, here are the 10 questions you got to answer to win this prize. You don't have to do no RVs. You don't have to do nothing but this answer 10 questions of mine. Are you ready? Where did I met Donnie Pellerini of the Great Outdoors? What, what was the name of that park? Be specified what was the name of that video and name of that park. That's question number one. Question number two. Where is the STDs with Donnie? Remember, Donnie has a few videos with me in it on his channel, and I got a few videos of him on my channel. Where is the STDs? If you don't know what STD means, spot the difference. There's a video I have, it's called Spot the Difference. It tells you the rules. Go watch that, then go find that video. Question number three. In my tin bag challenge, remember my tin bag challenge? What was the things I made with those bags? Can you name all the items that I created with those tin bags? Just watch the videos and leave a description below for that question. All right, question four. I made a video. I killed something, but it wasn't really an animal. What was that thing I killed? You know, something I stabbed my knife in. All right, number five. How do I put my bags on? Explain how I do it. That's all you had to do. Explain, oh yeah, you, 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 do this. All right, number six. <laughs> Name three things that is at my hobo that you can name off. It has to be something odd or unusual at a hobo campsite. Can you name those three items that I'm really looking for? Something you will never find at a hobo camp. What are the three things that my hobo is different from everybody else's hobo? Number seven. Where is that park I did a lot of chatting in? What's the name of that park? I have a chatting video. I'm chatting, I'm telling everything, I'm walking through the woods, and I say the name of that park about three or four times in those videos. What was the name of that park? Number eight. <laughs> oh, I can't count. Number eight. How many lights did I use in my light test video? I just tell you right there, just all you do is name how many lights I use in that light video test. And that's it. That's number eight. No, I, I can't move. In a video with my f lost friend, he was eating something. What was he eating? What did I call it? And what did he call it? It's simple. It was one of my damn truck. Get out of my damn video. Dare you! Oh, hiss at me! I beat you, bitch. <laughs> okay, number nine. Repeat my question. What was the thing my best friend ate? His name was Andrew Majuri, and he ate blank blank. And I said it's blank blank, and he recorrected me as blank blank. What is the blank? Thank you. And the final ten.
You know, number 10 is kind of hard. <laughs> number 10. Number 10 is always puzzling. And the last question, number 10, I'm trying to end this video real quick. Kind of forgot the question. You know, you got so many questions. That's what this piece of paper is for. <laughs> I forgot, I can't even read my own handwriting sometimes. What the, what the hell I said? Okay, for, do I take to a honky? What the hell? Oh. I can't read my own handwriting sometimes. Ain't that a shame? Uh, I gave up on number 10. So I'm just going to create one real quick. What was the name of the machete I usually use? What's the name of it? That quick. That's a quick question. What is the name of that machete I use? All right. If you answer all ten of these questions, the first person who answers it correctly, number, they're gonna be cut and paste. So be careful and be quick. The first person can answer all of them correctly below wins. That means if you mess up on one of your questions, somebody's gonna cut and paste your question and put it below. You lose. So be careful your questions and make sure you answer them correctly. That's simple and easy. A 10 question thing about my videos and you, yeah, you get them all right. You win the boost chair. Remember all the things you can do with the boost chair. Yeah, you'll see it in that first video. Okay, well, I'm Richard Cookie. I hope you enjoy my crazy video about the bush chair. And I'm giving it to you free if you can answer my questions. <laughs> They're crazy, all right. Because you know what Landman calls me? <laughs> That's something the gun called me. Crazy cookie for a reason. Who <laughs> me?